Hey, there, there. Ichiban. Totally. You need directions? Just saying it's show dipshit. Take your life! Too. Show me what you got! Awesome. That should do it for the upload. The video turned out really good, too. You sure know how to put on a show, Ichiban. You think you do this for a living? I don't know if I mention it, but despite my looks, I did run for an election once. <laughs> an election? For what? I mean, like, a real election. And this wasn't for student council or something? If they elected me, I would have been a politician. Seriously? Good grief, man! Is there anything you haven't done? Whoa, no way. We already got a DM. Wonder who from? What? Don't tell me it's from Akane-san. Uh, nope. Some guy named Eiji. He wants to know if we can meet him somewhere. Eiji? Wait a sec. You mean Eichon? Ah, so we caught Eichon's attention at least. Tomizawa, you remember, right? Uh, you know, the guy in the wheelchair who chased you off when we first met? Oh, him. Yeah, I remember. So, what's the plan? You want to meet up with him? That all right with you, Kiryu-san? He's a buddy that helped me out my first day here. Knowing him, I'm sure he's just worried about me. Sure. You've got nothing pressing right now. Why not? Awesome, thanks! Okay, yeah, let's take him up on that. All right, I'll ask where's best for him. He said over by the Anaconda Shopping Center. That should be fine, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Now, where's Akane-san? It's too bad we can't meet her this easily.
need to slow down now. That cool looking van right there. You like big cars, don't you, Tommy? Yep, I'm saving up to buy one that's top of the line one of these days. A van, huh? I guess having a big car comes with perks. You can pack it full of your buddies or a pile a bunch of stuff in it. <gasps> we could even buy a tent and all go camping together. All right, it's settled. Get one that seats like 10 people. What? Are you looking to come into my van? Well, come to think of it, that really does sound like fun. We're really opening up. Yo, hey, John! I'm glad you reached out. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, um, Kasuga-san, didn't this guy... He, he tried to rob you, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot's happened since. This is Tomi. And this is your first time meeting these two, I'm sure. Uh, hello. I I'm still confused. You're friends with him now? After all he did to you? Al, let's find a place to sit back and I'll fill you in. I see. So, you still haven't met your mother. Not only that, but the city's gangs are after her. I don't know if I should even call her my mother. Still trying to figure that out, too. So, Akane-san's being pursued by the Barracudas. And Yamai's still in the picture as well? And let's not forget the Daidoji faction from Japan. They got business with her too. Right? The Daidoji faction? They were said to run nearly all of Japan at one point. I'm here to find Akane-san on their orders. I... I see. Oh, yeah, I, I still haven't introduced them. This is Kazuma Kiryu-san. He took great care of me back in Japan. Uh, hello. I'm Mitamura. Right. And this is Chichan. I'm Chitose Fujinomiya. Pleased to meet you. Chitose-san, was it? Yes. Pleasure to meet you as well. <sighs> hmm? <laughs> well, I must say, you've gathered up quite a party since we last met. Yeah, Hawaii's blessed me with all sorts of friends. Of course, that includes you too, Eichan. Not sure if I would have made it on my own. You're the only one that's ever said that to me, Kasuga-san. Flattery or not, I'm honored. Nah, I'm not one for flattery, personally. Well then, is there anything I might help you out with? Huh? It's just, I've already gone this far. And I know the internet. I figure I can be of at least some use. Hey, I, I appreciate it, but... Eichan, don't you have your own life and stuff to worry about? Uh, right. I hadn't mentioned it, had I? What? The truth is... I lost my job over in Japan. That's why I came back here. Naturally, I feel awkward going home. If it's no trouble, Kasuga-san, I'd like to be a part. No, no trouble at all, but, uh, I can't promise there won't be trouble later. Like I said, 
There's a few gangs involved. Kasuga. What's up? Be glad you didn't make that promise. We're surrounded. Huh? He's not kidding. Check it out. They're all looking our way. Yeah, they are. We've met before. With the Barracudas too? I don't think so. This is someone else. Ganja, maybe. Ganja? It's unlikely you've heard of them, Kasuga-san. They're Chinese Mafia. They often have turf wars with the Barracudas. First the Barracudas, now the Chinese Mafia? Why is just full of surprises, isn't it? They're getting closer. Looks like there's about 20 of them. What do you think they want? Who knows? Either way, it doesn't seem like they'll let us go. They made sure to surround us before closing in. This was planned out. Ichiban Kasuga, how about you come with us? The rest of you are free to go. We've only got business with him. Shame we didn't make the cut. We're looking for this woman. With luck, we'll put some heat on her son and she'll come crawling out. Is that Akane-san? They're looking for her too? What the hell? Who is this woman? Huh. So these guys bit first. Huh? If the others would care to leave, now's your chance. This is your final warning. You ready for this, Kasuga? It's pretty clear there's no other way out. Yeah, what a surprise. All right, let's throw down. Shalanyam, show me what you got. Let's get it done. Well, I'm Okay, I'm up. You're in it now. What's the hold up? Clear all the details. Here we go. Hey, you good? All right, take this fist and shove it. Sure, I'll play with you. All right. Something wrong? Here I come. This might take a little. Get me! Time. Yo. 
Oh, don't show up. Oh, come on. Bring it. Open one. Trust you. Follow my lead. <laughs> Looks like I'm up. Ready when you are. Got you now. <laughs> Let's get it done. Don't put that on the other Break yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm up. I won't hold back. Sure, I'll All right. you. Here I come. You're up. Oh. See you in hell. That's, yep, that's how it's done. I think I'm getting better at this. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Huh, let's try uh, that what's up one. That one? Why is everyone chasing after Akane-san? What do you plan to do once you find her? We're just... just doing what we were told. I don't know the reason. <laughs> but I do know what we're gonna do to you. Say what? No matter where you run, where you hide, We'll find you, we'll slice you up, till there's nothing left. You don't have time for that kind of talk, Kasuka. If I had a guess, these guys are just grunts. They don't know a damn thing. We'll be in trouble if more of them come. Better move while we can. I'm sorry to rope you into all this, h -on. No way I can leave you alone now, though. Mind sticking with us for a while? Sure. Forgive me. That wasn't my plan. We should head back to my room for now. Let's get a cab. Goodbye. Thanks. Yeah. Sure. Hold up, Ichiban. Huh? First the Ganja, and now it's Yamai. Mm. Best to assume they found our hideout. Kasuga-san, behind you! <clears throat> Allow 
me to introduce myself. I come from Kamurocho. Some would call it the armpit of Tokyo, Japan. Born and raised from the sons of an inner city soapland, the name Zichiban Kasuga. Some have even called me the hero of Yokohama. <laughs> Separated from my mother at birth, I am now on a quest to find her. Hawaii is treating you well, I see. But what does that matter? I'm here for this one. It's a great honor to meet you, Kazuma Kiryu-san. Kiryu? Never heard of him. <laughs> and he's a terrible liar, just as they say. My thanks. Now I don't have any doubts. You are the real Kazuma Kiryu, all right. You know, I'll agree with you. He is a bad liar. <laughs> and here I thought it gotten better. I knew you wouldn't die so easily. I just knew it. And to think I'd run into you here of all places. The head of Kazuma Kiryu. What better trophy than the head of a dragon? <laughs> you sound like an ancient barbarian. And their age is dead. Gone. As far as death goes, it could be our turn any minute. <sighs> well said. It's coming for you right now. Try not to disappoint me, Kazuma Kiryu! Don't you hold back now! Let's do it! A duel with time. the Dragon of Dojima! A Yakuza's dream come true! <laughs> What's the hold up? Here's the one! Hey! You freak found me! Oh, oh yeah. yes, thank you! Delivery! Special delivery! Been looking forward to this one! Okay, I'm up! Here we go! Time to put you down! <laughs> Looks like I'm up. Something wrong? Time to end this. Let's get it done! Catch you later. Ready when you are. Okay, I'm up. Prepare 
Yes, I'm a fast learner. Who knew I had it in me? <sighs> well, I'll be. You really are a dragon. At least, that's what I'd like to believe. <clears throat> that was fun, but I think I expected too much. Tell me. Are you really Kazuma Kiryu? Are you really the dragon of Dojima? Seems that you've lost your bite. Or maybe just that your legend's outgrown you. Sounds like you've got your answer. Hey, all I know is that you can't lie to save your life. Hey, Yamai, don't you ever lay a hand on Tomisawa again. He's with me now, and he's not coming back. Huh? Who's he? What? I tend to forget about things that don't interest me. You hear that? I just hope you're the real deal. <sighs> anyway, all this talk is boring me. Can't wait for the next one. Maybe then the beast will bear its fangs. Now, take care. He's letting us go. That's it? Yeah, I guess. Yamai's only got eyes for Kiryu saw now, apparently. Hey, so, uh, you think we'll be okay going back to Kiryu san's room? No, we should probably try a change of scenery. So get a new hotel? No. Remember, we're dealing with the Barracudas and Gancha now. They'll both be looking for us. Hawaii's small, too. My hotel won't guarantee our safety, no matter where it is. But then where are we supposed to go? The Daidoji faction has a safe house here. It's for emergencies just like this. Are you sure about this? You don't have to take us there. It's fine. They're always trying to keep everything secret. Time they learn they can't. If they were really that special, they wouldn't have told me. Let's go. I feel bad. You've come through for us again and again. <laughs> you can repay me later. Now come on. So this is the safe house? Yeah. There should be plenty of space. Even with all of us, we'll likely fit just fine. I guess this apartment was the only thing they built, huh? It looks like it, at least. A number of the faction's people will be inside. They're not the nicest guys around, but I trust them. Got it. So this must be Ichiban Kasuga. Who's to say? Hard to give a straight answer to one gun, let alone three. Fine. Have it your way. It's not like we've got manpower out here. We're basically helpless. As it stands, we can't do much without his cooperation. I'll say this now so you don't get your hopes up. This is all the faction can muster right now. Huh? It's just you guys? That's, what, four people? It's for the sake of the mission. We want this done without any attention from the U.S. government. They've been stationed here in Hawaii for some time. Only myself and Kiryu-san are here from Japan. This is my boss, Hanawa. No clue if that name's real, though. How intelligent. Not only do you drag outsiders into the mission, you even give them my name. Why am I not surprised? 
They're all invaluable when it comes to our success. Besides, we're the closest to getting to Akane-san, aren't we? <sighs> Though it pains me to acknowledge it, yes, that is the case. This is Ichiban Kasuga. And they're... Tomizawa-san and Chitose-san, right? Ah, I just met Kiryu-san earlier. I'm Eiji Mitamura. Greetings. The Daidoji faction offers you sanctuary. However, we ask one thing in return. Please tell us everything you know about Akane-san. We too wish to find her and keep her safe. As it stands, we share a common goal. You're letting us use this place. We'll help out however we can. Kasuga-san, I must say, I enjoyed that video of yours. <laughs> hey, thanks. Regrettably, its success carries a high price. You've now advertised yourself to threats all over Hawaii. Furthermore, you're no closer to Akane-san than before. All you really did was multiply the enemies you stood to gain, perhaps even tenfold. Yeesh, that's harsh. Kasuga. It's probably about time you told them, huh? What? Told us? What do you mean? Kasuga, when we first talked about shooting the video, you asked if there were groups other than the Barracudas. Right there, I could tell you had another goal in mind. Not only that, but it seemed like you anticipated that Ganja and Yamai would show up. Huh? Is that true? <laughs> Amazing, Kiryu-san. Of course you'd figure me out. The goal of that video, like we planned, was to have Akane-san come find us. That would have been our best case scenario. But apart from that, I was hoping for something else. Mm -hmm. If that video did its job, then we'd see everyone who's involved in this mess. Uh, huh? What do you mean? A guy named Ichiban Kasuga plops down in Hawaii. He's looking for his long-lost mother. That info might have drawn attention. And if anyone was gonna come after us because of it, well, they'd probably be pretty clued in on everything, right? That's true. Ichiban made it very clear who his mother was. Anyone interested would have to be after the same Akane-san. No one would care otherwise. Exactly. What's more, they would know I exist. They would have already known she's got a son. And if you didn't know all that, you wouldn't bother hunting me down. Hmm. Now, as to where we stand with everyone. The Barracudas, most likely due to Tomi's threats, are out of the picture. Yamai jumped us after seeing the video, but he's now completely zeroed in on Kiryu-san. He didn't say one word about Akane-san. That's true. Hard to imagine that was an act. Right. That means there's only one group at play here. Only one had all the pieces. That's the Ganja. No mistake in it, they know things. Things about Akane-san that even we don't. Huh. Ah, that's right! This has been bugging me this whole time. Looking back on it, didn't the Ganja guys know Ichiban was Akane's son? We're looking for this woman. With luck, we'll put some heat on her son and she'll come crawling out. Oh, whoa. Yeah, they must have. Right. Hanawa-san, it's true the best result would have been getting Akane's attention, and that was the plan. But regardless, we still managed to get a new lead. That's gotta be good for something, right? I see. Yes, well, I suppose things did work out once all was said and done. However, I ask that you refrain from pulling a stunt like that again. <laughs> I'll be more careful from now on. <laughs> well, that's a relief. But man, you should have told us! We're a team, all right? <laughs> hey, I would have felt stupid if it didn't work. You only fill people in if you pull it off. Hey, no fair. <laughs> <laughs> now, just where are the Ganja getting their info? Uh, that's the question. Captain Sawashiro's been in Ijincho the whole time, and I've only told the people here about it. On that note, it's possible there was a leak from somewhere or someone close to Akane-san. Whatever the case, asking the Ganja ought to clear things up. If we figure out who their source is, well, we'll be one step closer to finding her. Good plan. 
If you ask me, I say we nab one of their boys and make them spit it out. Right. Only thing is, we need at least an officer. It won't do us much good if they're kept out of the loop. Um, they're not an officer, but I know of someone with pretty close ties to the Ganja. The owner of the Nirvana Hotel. He's a local celebrity. Nirvana Hotel? Yes. Rumor has it. He's actually the head of the Ganja himself. At least, that's what made its way around the dark web. Just a moment. I'll find a picture. This is him, Wong To. Wong To seems to be a highly valued individual when it comes to the wealthy hiding their assets in Hawaii. On top of that, the Ganja rapidly expanded right around the time he opened the Nirvana Hotel. Wong To is, in all likelihood, an officer within their ranks, maybe higher. Then does that mean the Nirvana Hotel's our next stop? That would be reckless. As it's been said, the Nirvana Hotel is the Ganja's prime base of operations on the island. They've no doubt got it under lock and key, and Wong To is much sharper than Dwight. So it makes District 5 look like a walk in the park, is that it? All right. But with every second, Hawaii's gangs inch closer to finding Akane-san before us. Hanawa-san, there's gotta be something, right? Is there any way we can get close to Wong To? Well, there's no guarantee it will work. But there is one thing you might try. Ah, so you do know a way. Why didn't you say so from the beginning? I'll tell you why. Because it's holy and highly unrealistic. However, seeing as it's all you've got, I'll fill you in. Supposedly, deep within the Nirvana Hotel, is a secret casino set up exclusively for Hawaii's elite. Furthermore, Wong To is said to personally serve the guests there. So if we can get in as guests, we can get in touch with Wong To? We have our finish line. Now how do we cross it? The Nirvana Hotel is not the only casino in town. In fact, they say the Ganja have established similar casinos all over Honolulu. If you can prove you've got the cash at one of those, there's a good chance the Nirvana Hotel will open its doors. <laughs> They're not so stupid as to let go of an easy mark like that. So if we want to meet the Major League coach, we first got to prove ourselves in the minors. Is that right? Sheesh, you sure set the bar high. So these minor league casinos, where exactly are they? That's just it. We don't know. What? The local police have been stumped by it too. They're sure the casinos are out there, but they can't seem to find any hard evidence. Wait, really? Why? Who knows, man? But at least one thing's clear. The first task on our list, find one of these phantom casinos. Yeah, seems like it. Right. Hey, Sean, what about you? Actually, is it all right if I stay here? I'll be of more use to Kasuga-san and the others that way, I think. Sure. I don't mind. All right. Just call me if anything happens. Sup? What?
Tommy. tumble through the grass in an empty lot, just like this one when I was a kid. I bet you were a little hellraiser back then. You ever get hurt real bad? Oh, yeah, I was covered in scars. But it didn't matter if I was having fun. I guess I was the same way. It would be fun to let loose and act a fool like I used to. Those days have yet to be put behind you, if you ask me. Yeah, well, right back at you. Let's just try not to die during our wild adventures, huh? Agreed. All right. Oh, hi. So
Excuse me. Hey there. Hmm? Oi! Timmy! Now.
What's up? I'm on board. goodies here just like the old-timey sweet shops back home you're into Japanese sweets yeah they're all so bright and colorful although I've never actually gone and bought any myself really never nope only read about them in books I'd love to actually try them sometime and I got to take you to a real old-fashioned mom-and-pop shop back in Japan some even give out bonus prizes heck <laughs> you can pick up the 300 yen worth of snacks my treat Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> no pun intended. Thank you. We're really opening up. Aloha. Thanks very much. I might be a natural.
tasted pricier than it was. Pretty good. It works. So, this it? Yeah, at least it should be. Ah, damn it. Did he pull a fast one on us? Hang on. This does line up with the password. Fried dumplings from the mainland, remember? True. Anyway, why don't we go inside? Maybe we got it wrong? It's like a regular Chinese joint. My sincerest apologies. We just took our last order. We hope you'll stop by again. Huh? Oh, well, you see, we're here for some fried dumplings from the mainland. What now? You know, fried dumplings from the mainland? It, is it too late for those? Please, take a seat at that table there. All right, what's next? Couldn't tell you. Either way, I'm starving. Even if it's wrong, let's at least eat. Fried dumplings sound great right now. Actually, in China, dumplings are usually steamed. They don't fry them too often. Oh, that explains the password. Kiryu-san, look at you! <laughs> Trust me. I know all kinds of useless information. You know, they still haven't taken our orders. We call them over ourselves. Uh, excuse me! Man, that's loud. This was the spot after all. Hidden in plain sight. And it's probably not just here either. I'll bet there's a few more around town. No wonder the police were having trouble. Pardon the delay. Please enjoy yourselves tonight.
Damn it! Okay. Chichon. Yeah. No! Sorry. Here you are. Casca. <laughs> Hey there. I'm 
I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome one and all. Now then, if you need anything, I am the manager here. It seems you've Lady Luck on your side, however, so I don't imagine you will. <laughs> Thanks. Come to Hawaii for sightseeing, have you? Well, half business, half pleasure, that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, my, my. Say, uh, Mr. Manager, I've had a blast, but honestly, this just isn't cutting it anymore. Oh? And by that you mean... Tossing cheap chips back and forth. <laughs> we both know that's not real gambling, is it? Actually, I've heard some rumors about the Nirvana Hotel. Yeah. Hmm. Now, I've got the money, but my company's still a newcomer in the industry, you see? I don't exactly have someone to put in a good word. Kind of funny, don't you think? Yeah, a guy with my kind of money's gotta wait it out to have some real fun. Hmm. You'll have to forgive me. As it stands, that location has a screening process that's well beyond my pedigree. For what it's worth, I doubt someone like me could get you in. Come on, be a pal. You're really gonna leave me hanging like that? I'm really counting on you here. Please. I'm sorry. <sighs> Has our luck run out then? Mr. Manager, I believe the Fujinomiya family has been in the care of the Nirvana Hotel in the past. Huh? And you are... Ah, uh, my apologies. I'm the eldest daughter of the Fujinomiya family of Japan. My name is Chitose. This guy here, he's with me. And so are all of them. So as long as they're with me, they're welcome at the Nirvana Hotel as well, correct? Chichan! Hey, think for a second. What if your family finds out about this? And you'll run away with me, right? Ugh. Besides, I really want to help Akane-san. Well, that... And I want to show you I can be cool, too. So, what'll it be, Mr. Manager? Run it by your higher-ups. 
and you'll quickly see I'm the real deal. Uh, just one moment. You're sure about this? They'll almost definitely contact your family. Well, this'll at least earn me a little more trust, right? <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. Shit. You just had to act all cool. <laughs> Wasn't I, though? Terribly sorry for the wait. I was able to check with my managers like you asked. And? My sincerest apologies for any trouble, Miss Fujinomiya. You're more than welcome at the Nirvana Hotel. Great, thanks. All right, we're one step closer to Wang Tao. Step nothing? All we've got to do now is reach out. Thanks, Chi Chan. See? I can be useful too. So, what now? We head straight there? I'm sure we'd all like to. But remember, Wong To and his men are currently after Kasuga. To have him waltz into the Nirvana Hotel himself is like... Leading a moth to a flame? You're not wrong. Kasuga, you take support on this one. Wait, support? You sure? I mean, I'll be honest, I'm no tactician or anything. We'll handle things on the inside. You be our eyes. This is no ordinary hideout. It's a secret casino inside Ganja HQ. Should things take a turn, we'll want an escape route. I'll ask Hanawa to get us some equipment. You'll know what we need. <laughs> so I'm on comms. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. I always thought these islands had cactuses. Guess not, huh? Actually, I just saw a big one not far from here. By the way, did you know that cactuses have an IQ of three? IQ measures your brain power, right? Does that mean cactuses can think? Well, it's not like researchers can test them, so it's not exactly scientific. But it is said they can talk to each other. So they're a bit savvier than most plants. That's mind-blowing. Wait a sec. Chichan, we can't let him hear us. <laughs> okay, why? All right. The rain's letting up.
Thanks, later. I didn't stand a chance. Oh, there's so many pretty flowers out here, all in fresh bloom. You got a favorite flower, Chichon? Hmm, what do I like? Maybe roses? Roses. Sure are classy. I've actually tried growing some, but it's really hard. They're surprisingly delicate. Tricky to water and a royal pain to prune. <sighs> you can imagine how proud I was when I finally got them to grow. <sighs> Makes me wonder if I'll ever have my day in the sun. Shijun? Uh, nothing. Just thinking out loud. Roses sure are tough, huh? <sighs> Even with the barbs and beauty, they still gotta struggle to the top. I think I understand a little better now. Thanks, Jichan. Not sure you need to thank me, but... <laughs> I guess you're welcome. We're really opening up! Listen up. Thanks. Pardon? Okay. Miss Fujinomiya, we've been expecting you. Thank you. Man, this place is stuffy out the ass. Whew. How's the view? Crystal clear. Gotta hand it to the Daidoji. <laughs> this really is just like 007. If you say so. We're about to set foot inside. If we start to lose connection, let me know. Okay. Look after those two Kiryu-san. And be careful. Will do. Alright. 
Let's get this done. <sighs> Damn suit, you're gonna suffocate me, and these socks make my feet feel all itchy. And why doesn't everyone just wear sandals? Ugh. Can you grow up? We're on a mission. Right this way, Miss Fujinomiya. Mm, wonderful. Well, Kiryu-san? Care to be my arm candy tonight? As you wish. Whoa! Oh! Damn! That was cool! Uh, hey, guys! What, what do I get to do? I don't know. Hold my drinks. What? <laughs> oh, come on! We're on the elevator. You still with us? A little spotty here and there, but it's fine. The security at District 5 was nothing compared to this. No kidding. Chichon really came through for us. Thank you for waiting. Floor seven and a half. Good luck to you. So, the casino's just beyond, huh? Right. The real game's about to begin. This is way cheesier than I imagined. No, this place is definitely catering to the VIPs. Take a look. What are those? Gaming plaques for all the high rollers. One right there is a hundred grand. <laughs> for one bet? Fuck that. Kasuga, you seeing this? Yeah. Anyone look like the kind of guy Wong To might approach? Someone really raking it in? Not yet. Hey, handsome. <laughs> you, you, you son, what the hell are you doing? Just giving you a little change of scenery. <laughs> Thank you. By doing that? How thoughtful. Well, we looked around, but didn't see anyone winning big or making a show. Most of the guests here are Asian. And look, they're all having a blast. Hey, I just overheard some of the other guests. Apparently the owner's gonna show up soon. The owner? That has to be Wong To, right? Yep, sure is. Seems he's here just about every day. You said soon. How soon are we talking? Well, I can't say for sure. <sighs> Actually, yes, I can. He's here. That our man?
Welcome to the Nirvana Hotel. Your family's contributed so much to us over the years, Chitosi Fujinomiya. Oh, and our unannounced guest, Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. <laughs> So you knew from the start. And I thought you might have noticed. Before you even stepped inside, we already run all sorts of body checks on you. No reason we can't sniff out a few spy gadgets, especially here. After all, we welcome VIPs from every corner of the globe. Well, for VIPs, this crowd sure doesn't act like it. They're a special breed. The guests here have grown tired of the usual luxury, you see. They come here because they want to satisfy their superiority. Over what? Over this whole idealistic country. That's what. These people share a common thread. They were all chasing after the great American dream. A dream that prizes machismo and freedom over all else. The America they sought was too good to be true. Yet all the while, it told them they were vastly inferior. So to rid themselves of that feeling, they worked their fingers to the bone. But by the time their hard work might have finally paid off, the America they knew was long gone. This new America valued diversity, condemned masculinity, and now more than anything, put caution over freedom. Right. And you're dealing out the American dream in spades, is that it? Exactly. This is the America they held in their hearts. A place of promise they secretly hated just as much as they sung its praises. And we let our guests fulfill their heart's desires to the absolute fullest. Quite a concept, wouldn't you say? Enjoy yourselves, and I'm sure you'll agree. Unfortunately, we're not here for that. We're here for you. Well, that's quite the honor. You're most welcome. Especially this Kasuga I've been hearing so much about. Might I ask that he join us as well? Tell him to stay put. They're up to something. No. Whatever his goal is, he's threatening Kasuga right now. He's saying if he doesn't come... We'll all die. <sighs> I see you know how this works. That's it then. You get all that? Yeah. I'll head up right now. Ah. <sighs> Seems he's here. Hey, you guys all right? All good. <laughs> I swear, I will never get used to this sort of thing. You don't think? Glad you could make it. Welcome, Ichiban Kasuga. Thanks for the invite. There's a lot I need to ask you. Not when I have questions for you. And I'm sure you know what those are. Akane-san, right? We're here for the same thing. That's fine. But it's a little loud here. Please. Why don't we take this to the back of the house? Drinks are, of course, on me. Not gonna let us enjoy the place a bit? We're here as your guests, after all. My apologies. However, a minute with me is rather expensive. Suffice to say, you might as well have hit the jackpot. Aren't we lucky? Just putting it out there. Anyway, let's go. Please. What the? Oh, wait, wait. This is it. This is the big boss's office? I heard of cutting corners, but man. 
We got an all-access tour of your friends the Barracuda's place the other day. Their boss's pad is straight out of a Mafia movie. Guess you like to keep things simple, huh? A long time ago, I was desperate to surround myself with expensive things. I worked for my money. So why not? But at some point, I came to see the truth of it all. If it had a price, I could get it. Whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted it. As long as I was sure of that, the possessions didn't matter. Have, have not, it makes no difference. This is all I need. The things that get the job done. For me, that's this desk, this chair, and this computer. The people out there rejoice and wallow over dice and cards. And with every passing bet, there's still none the wiser. So maybe the customer isn't king. But all that aside, I can't say I'm one for looking down on people. <laughs> Perhaps I said too much. I doubt there's very many who could relate. Now, to the matter at hand. Ichiban Kasuga, you're the estranged son of Akane, the director of the Palekana Orphanage. Do I have that right? Actually, I'm still trying to confirm that myself. But yeah, probably. We're looking for Akane as well. If you know her whereabouts, I ask that you please tell us. Naturally, we won't leave empty-handed. Sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Huh. You seem confident in that. Care to put it to the test? Huh? What do you say? <laughs> like it even matters. You fellas better get ready. Thinking he's gonna dodge every last one. We can do this anytime. 
Until now, but that luck's about to run out. Interesting. I may have underestimated. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Here we go. It's over. I barely stand. We could do this anyway. Well, I'm waiting. This ought to help. Okay, I'm up. To the next level. Think I'm getting better at this. Hey, I'm even stronger now. Uh, uh, impossible. Just who are you? <laughs> Looks like your numbers were off a bit, huh? Finally hash things out. You've got a lot to tell us, after all. <sighs> I want to know why you're after Akane-san. What are you gonna do once you find her? Also, who the hell told you I was her son? Maybe try one question at a time. Oh, it's your pick. 
You're telling me either way. Look, you're all out of chips at this point, see? Mod. Wangto, right? So then should I assume you're the boss of the Ganja? More like Commander. Oh, hey, my bad. All right, Mr. Commander. Why go through all this trouble to get to Akane-san? She's just the director of some orphanage. What's a nice lady like her got to do with you? Better answer while it's still me asking the questions. Kiryu-san's not as friendly as I am. You were tougher than I expected. So I'm actually a little worn out. But don't worry. A few minutes with me, and you'll practically be singing. Look, I'd prefer giving that mug of yours a break. Besides, you've got your boys watching you. Making you cry out in the open like this seems a little cruel, don't you think? I'd rather not embarrass you. We were asked to look for the old lady. It's the same with the Barracudas. It's a... a request from the Overseer. Overseer? What do you mean? Aren't you the Overseer here? I'm not talking about some pit boss who runs things at the Nirvana. I mean the Overseer of this whole state. Wait, all of Hawaii? The Ganja and the Barracudas may seem like competition on the surface. But in reality, we're all just cells of the Overseer. In the end, he's the one pulling the strings. <sighs> that meddlesome woman. She made off with the Overseer's treasure. If we were to get it back, then he'd owe us for all it's worth. In fact, I'm sure he'll pay that and then some. The hell? Tongshai, I think the boss will never be able to Huh? Hey, sit down! Lobahui 很快就会传到老板手下的耳朵里。接下来，就由我来举火为号吧。举火？什么意思？Hey, hey, say something we can understand. Him. What was he saying? That my betrayal would be known by all. Overseer included. So the guy who jumped, he was one of the Overseer's spies. What else did he say? He said something about setting off a signal. Then he jumped. A signal? Then is that why he jumped? Was his death the signal? My son's in danger. My son! What? Hurry up and untie them! My boy needs them now! Wait, huh? Uh, but... I'm not too clear on it, but do what he says. It seems like an emergency. Oh, if you say so, Kiryu-san. Please, let me see my son. He's in the penthouse. It's, it's on the top floor. Fine, but not on your own. We're coming with you. 
Then this way! Hurry! Delicious. Hey, how old is your son? He's only six. His mother left him some time ago. I've got a sitter with him. Six, huh? It's just a little guy. You are... Because令郎现在已经不在这个房间里了。那个女的也是我们的人。在遇见您之前一直就是了。We're too late. My son's already been taken. Then, are these guys? That's right. More pawns of the overseer. Seems I have no one left to trust. 明明是你背叛在先吧。这种行为。可是罪该万死！可别一下就不行了。Battle Here we go. Time to put you down. I can't move. That's picking time. Looks like I'm up. I'll take you on. Here you go. Oh, I needed that. Allow me. Let's get it done. Right, Wait to be <笑>你把我儿子带去哪儿了 
混蛋，居然这样和我说话！你怎么敢？Any idea where they're taking your son? No. And regardless, we need to get far away from this place. Please, you have to get me out of here. I'll tell you whatever you want. Right now, there's no knowing which of my men I can trust. Here, you son. Let's start by getting out of this hotel. Come on. We need to find a safe place to lay low. Nigger. Hello. Yeah, Achan. Kasuga-san, the news is all over the internet. What happened out there? An employee was thrown out of a window at the Nirvana Hotel. Kasuga. Sorry, H. On. We'll talk later. The police? They're taking off. What's that mean? Simple. We're on our own. If the police didn't see it, it's not their problem. Damn it. That bastard. Is there anyone he doesn't control? Hey, tell me. Have you always been public enemy number one? No! I was... The Overseer played me. I never expected this. Well, maybe you should have. Shut your mouth! That's enough. Now stay calm. We'll make it out of this. Moment of truth. Let's go. Okay, you asked for it. Okay, I'm up. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Something wrong? Let's go! It's on your face! Let's get it done! Allow me. It's over! Right. Here I come. This might sting a little. Get Yeah, 
think I'm getting stronger. Learning more every day. All right, we did it. <sighs> yeah. Ah! For a son of a bitch! Ah! Hey, Wong Tu! Shit! Chi Chan, you got a bandana or something? We gotta tie this up and stop the bleeding. Yeah, hold on. I think I had something. Wong Tou's key here, and we'll need the time to talk. What's more, we need somewhere we won't get attacked. Well, for that, we'll want to get ourselves a car. Still, let's start by getting out of here. Hey, Ichiban, we're moving Wong. Give me a hand here. Yo, Ichiban, let's stop here for now. Give him a sec to breathe. Hey, you all right, Wong To? I'm feeling a bit lightheaded now. To think everything was fine before you all showed up. Yeah, must be hard. All right, I'll find us a car. No point trying to get him up on his feet again. Good plan. We'll get him patched up once we're at the safe house. Appreciate it. I'll come back as soon as I can. Yeah, Godspeed. Are you sure he won't betray you? <laughs> hey, maybe you can't exactly trust anyone right now, but Tomi will come through. Oh, well. Even if he does keep his word, it won't mean all that much to a dead man. Well, you look all right to me. Just hang in there. There's a lot we still need to hear from you. <laughs> and that would be... You were looking for Akane-san. That's because this overseer asked you to, right? You said Akane-san's on the run with some kind of treasure. Yeah. Who is this guy? Just who is this overseer? The overseer. He's got more control over the island than I never thought possible. He placed spies in my organization, spies in the police. He's even got insiders with the Barracudas. And their loyalty, the lengths they'll go to, it's the real deal. You saw it, didn't you? The way that man jumped back there. He gave his life just so I'd be branded a traitor. For no reason other than calling me out. The Overseer. The one in charge. Is Bryce. Bryce? As in the Sage of Polycana. Conniving old bastard. He's the one who had us do the search. No way. Uh, I met him. He's the one behind this? Why? After everything Akane-san's done, all she wanted was to help people. And now, an entire religion's coming after her? Why? I mean, wasn't Polykana... Akane-san believed in that stuff too, right? Seriously? Why is Akane-san so important to these guys? See for yourself. We caught this on camera about two weeks back. Polykana. It's their orphanage, right? Sure seems like it. Yeah. 
This is where she worked. Look here, Kasuga. The picture that Daidoji faction gave me is the same photo. Whoa, you're right. Hey, tell me, who's this girl with Akane-san? She's not just some girl. You see, Bryce is really after her. Uh -huh. Her name is Lani. This island, Bryce may think of himself as its new god, but she could take that all away. The girl's his Achilles heel. Knowing how Bryce works, he'll do whatever it takes to track her down and snuff her out. Snuff her out? A poor little girl? You said her name's Lonnie? What the hell's Bryce want with a kid like her? What's killing her gonna solve? Hang on. First, who is Bryce, really? How does one man control all of Hawaii's underworld? Care to explain that? I don't know the details myself. By the time I started gaining prominence here, Bryce was already the sage of Polycana, and well in charge. Right, okay. And how far back was that? This was 30 years ago. Fair to say Bryce was always here. His control over the underworlds lasted at least all this time. And get this. He looked exactly the same back then. 30 years ago? Wait, then how old is he now? Sounds like he's easily over 90. If that's really the case, he must be some kind of monster. Back in my early days, I had my sights set on expanding to America's mainland. In a sense, Hawaii was supposed to be a sort of stepping stone. Things were going well. I had driven out the existing Chinese presence and become the king of a new regime in Hawaii. And it's been Ganja ever since, huh? That's right. But something occurred just as I was about to make my next move. You see, it was then I got a visitor. I speak for the Overseer. That was how he greeted me. The Overseer? By that he meant Bryce? Correct. Well, I didn't know that at the time. Naturally, all I saw was a no-name fool spitting hollow threats. And given my newfound status here, I promptly sent him packing. That was a grave mistake. Huh? No more than a week later, I received a mysterious package. It was a small cardboard box. Even stranger, the sender was my hometown. <sighs> when I looked inside, I found a head staring back at me. And it wasn't just anyone's. It was my mother's. <gasps> to uncover my place of birth alone was by no means an easy task. But he'd quickly proven otherwise. He chose to shove it in my face. And it was then and there I knew what I was up against. And after that, it was side with Bryce or suffer the consequences. Right. Granted, I was always looking for a chance at revenge. Truly, I may have kneeled, but I could never let my mother's death go unanswered. To that end, I went to great lengths selecting men I could trust. There was no knowing what would make its way back to Bryce. And still... That suit, right? Bryce's spies were right under your nose the whole time. So it would seem. Furthermore, Palakana's at the heart of this whole mess. Bryce's spies, they're bred from within Palakana itself. What, like brainwashing? Exactly. He uses his position as sage to influence believers. And once he has their trust, he 
he makes himself their object of worship. Those he lures in follow his every command. Not even death is off the table, long as it's for his sake. You saw that for yourself back at the hotel. Bryce's role as Palakana Sage is everything to him. It's more than just a front, much more. Okay, Bryce is no joke, I get that. But back to my original question. Why the hell is this Lonnie so important to him? Well, I'm not sure. It's like I said before, as far as we know, Dwight and I are only following Bryce's orders. That's not to mention that we rarely receive those from the man himself. However, this time, we did. He told us to find the girl named Lonnie at all costs, and that Akane would be with her. He said she was trying to keep her safe. That's all we were ever told, no rhyme or reason. Bryce had given the order, and with that, we had no choice but to follow. Ah, Dwight left that out. In fact, he was pretty vague about things. He told us an unknown client offered him 10 mil, and that's it. Hmm. The Overseer's identity is the last thing he'd let slip. Wouldn't you know? He bought his story, hook, line, and sinker. Sneaky bastard. Who knew he was such an actor? Anyway, if this was some rare direct order from Bryce, and Akane-san and this Lonnie girl are special, you wouldn't pull out all the stops otherwise. And that's why you thought Lonnie was Bryce's weak point. Is that right? Yeah. I thought if I could get my hands on her, Bryce would be the one bowing down to me. But I was foolish. So we got mafia bosses and casino managers at play. Two grown-ass men with pretty major titles chasing after a kid with no real clue as to why. <sighs> And then there's Akane-san. She must have realized that Lani was being targeted. Fair to say, that's why she ran off with her. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Based on this, she looks about ten. That right? Yeah. She's just a kid. Her best hope was someone pulling her from the lion's den. If not for Akane-san, She'd have never stood a chance. Kiryu-san. She needs our help. Right now, it's darkness at every turn for her, and there's no end in sight. She needs someone to show her there's a way out. That there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. I'm with you on that 100%, Kiryu-san. They have my son, too. Polykana stole him from me. I won't abandon him. Ugh. Now what? From the looks of it, they aren't with me. Ahoy! Wong To! <laughs> we know you're still out there. You're still limping around. <laughs> Must be fun, eh? Come on and show yourself. I'll fix you right up. It's your my. He must have sniffed us out. You saying he works for Polykana too? No. To Yamai, Hawaii's just another rock out at sea. He's nowhere on the Overseer's radar. He's too small time to be. Yeah, and what's he doing here? From where Yamai sits, the Ganja are collapsing. This is the perfect chance to wipe us out. And sure enough, he's taking it. You fellas are here too, yeah? Kasuga, Kiryu-san. 
Wong Toe's the main event tonight. Hand him over, and I guarantee you boys will go out in one, maybe two swings. Gee, how generous. Doesn't look like they're coming out, boss. Maybe they scampered off. Nah, not while the Gib's still with them. Unless they've got a stretcher, they're not going anywhere. They're probably skulking around in the shadows. But boss, how the hell do we find him when it's this dark? What? Having trouble seeing? All right then, let me get a light. Uh, huh? Uh, oh, allow me, boss. I don't hear anything. You think they backed off? No way. Your mind would never give up that easily. <sighs> That's for sure. <sighs> oh, come on. Huh? <sighs> well, now. This ought to brighten things. Plus, it's warm. So, two birds, one stone. Shit. Cold out here. He's out of his mind. We're gonna get fried if we stick around. Let's move! Uh, 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 Kill son! Uh, 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 uh. Hurry! It's spreading fast! Thank goodness. We can rest here. Sheesh. What took you? Guess we're out of options. Okay, so we take him out. Then what do we do? Not to worry, Chichan. We'll make it out. Tell me. I hope you're ready, pal. Right then. I wonder how you'll handle things this time around, Kazuma Kiryu. Let's see whether the dragon breathes fire or his last breath, shall we? It's too hot. The fire is out of control. Yeah, last thing we want is to get too close. Brace yourself! Something fell down! I think it's from one of these trees. Maybe we can use it. Here we go. Well, I'm waiting. It's over. I'm done playing games. Don't get caught. I'm done playing games. I 
feel great. Something wrong? And back to square one. Here we go. It's over! That's ticket time! Break yourself! What's it gonna take, eh? Okay, I'm up. Allow me. Let's get it done! Not a damn thing! That's how it's done. Guess I'm a fast learner. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Okay, Kirin son? Yeah. Though not for long. If we don't move, we're dead. Oh? We want to leave Wangto behind then? There's no way in hell we'll drag him out of here in time. Wait! Come on! You gotta help me! Hey, we couldn't even if we wanted to. The only way we're getting out of this is. He's here! Look sharp, everyone! <laughs> Take the wheel, Chitose. Right. Ourselves killed. Akane and Lani will have no one. Chitose, time to roll! No, no way! Not yet! I can take care of myself. Go! the time when I actually looked up to you. What a waste. Like they turned off Kiryu-san's phone. GPS really would have helped us out about now. Indeed. Just try to take it easy for now, Kasuga-san. Right. Sorry. From what everyone said, it's best to assume Kiryu-san's been captured. If they'd killed him, there'd be no reason to disable the GPS. Well, hang on. Kiryu-san still could have been dumped out at sea, right? I mean, I'd have shut his phone off real quick. I suppose that's possible, isn't it? Though your inability to read the room is truly remarkable. Huh? Uh, well, I mean, I just thought we should consider all the angles. Tell me, maybe consider shutting up first. Ugh. Kiryu-san wouldn't go down that easy. Still, right now he needs all the help he can get. And fast. Yes. In fact, our search for Akane-san and Lani will have to wait. His rescue should be our number one priority. Huh. I figured you'd say the opposite. 
You thought I'd write Kiryu off as a pawn and tell you to stick to the mission? It's true. He is being used by the Daidoji faction. However, he simply cannot be replaced. If our mission wants any hope of success, Kiryu-san must be brought to safety. Yamai has probably got him tied up at his hideout. And I think I know just the place. Pretty sure I visited once. Good. This will be quick then. Kiryu-san will be back before we know it. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. We barely escaped our last battle with that lunatic, remember? And let's not forget that we're down Kiryu-san this time. It's gonna be tough. Hanawa-san, think we can count on you for backup? I get winded just walking up the stairs. Does that answer your question? We'll ask someone else. I can't believe Kiryu-san took orders from this guy. Oh, hi. 